a sin, my darling, how I love you, when I know my love could never be. It's a sin to keep this memory of you, when silence proves that you've forgotten me. The dream I built for us has tumbled, each promise broken like my heart. It's a sin, my darling, how I love you. So much in love and yet so far Well, you know, it's really good you keeping this Western tradition alive. It's really been an inspiration to me, and I know it's really meant a lot, and it means a lot to the younger generations. You know, they're the future of America. And uh, what have you got to say? What do you think about it? Well, I hope uh, uh, enough will come along behind me to keep it going after I'm gone. A lot of us fellas in the 70s now, and some of them even in the 80s. I hope there's enough fellas come along to preserve it for a lot of more years after we've done hit the trail, you know. I hope so too, but I hope you got many more years to go. You look like you're in good health and uh, good Lord willing, we'll take it day by day. Well, that's, I guess that's the best way. I, Lord willing, I, I guess that's what he expects. Start out today with the Lord and thank him at the end of the day that you pull through, see? Well, that's the way I've always done. And I, I don't believe he wants us to worry about that much the future. We start looking too far down the road. I had no idea 32 years ago. Yeah, boy, thank you. 32 years ago, it'd still be going on. But, uh, Let's say, has it been the 32? I mean, I, Actually, I, I started before that, down at my house. I knew it was up in the 30s and it started off at your house. I've been at it 40 years or more. I, th I thought that you was going, out, going on at 40 overall. As a, as a group like this getting together, we've been doing this 32 years. Well, I started in my house and uh, accumulated a bunch of films and things and got me a little trailer then, <clears throat> put it in and let people come in. And, sat around watching with me, and uh, I've been surprised that a lot of people, other than myself, were interested in westerns. Uh, proof here today that uh, every town had its own western band. Well, I'll tell you right now, you know, the last three times I've been up here, you've been getting real good turnouts. And... Well, one time at the school house, we had uh, over 300 people. Well, I just want to, you know, just let you know personally, you've really been an inspiration to me. I really look forward to coming up here, and I really appreciate uh, what you've done and what you are doing. And uh, uh, I think uh, how it's going to help young people coming up. I just feel... So I meeting you and everybody else. And down through the years. Got many more shows, like I do too. And you look in good health and I thank you very much for this interview. What do you got to say for today? Well, you know, today is a beautiful day down here at uh, Charlie's Barn and uh, we're gonna have another Milo Ho Western film show and gunfights and singing and we uh, good food to eat and uh, it's really got a, lot, a little bit of a breeze out here today. We're gonna have a great time. Well, it's been good talking with you, James, and I'm really looking forward to the show. I am too, and it's always a pleasure to see you, Ron, and have a good day. I don't know much to say. I'm just a dumb old country boy. One of uh, Rooster's friends here in Milo Holtz. Well, it's good to see you because I've known Rooster for years, and uh, my name is Ronald Coombs, so. Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson. 
And I want to interview the, uh, the man over the Black Rose Pistolero. So, you know, he's, uh, you know, putting on these Western shows. And, uh, well, uh, Donnie, uh, it's really been great talking with you. I know you go by the name of Rooster. Uh, I feel you patting that name after the American hero, John Wayne. Yeah, American actor and uh, a very good American. He was very patriotic. And he's, uh... Ray Rogers has his time and will always be revered and loved, and so will Gene Autry, but John Wayne outlasted them all. He was from the 30s all the way into the 70s till his death, and even 20 years after his death, his movies are still highly rated and highly loved, and the sales on John Wayne movies are still big. And uh, there's a lot of living actors who would like to have uh, you know, the uh, saleability of John Wayne He's been deceased since 79, and he still sells big. Hey! Lindsay Shugmate, he's one of the top stunt men in uh, Western shows and movies. And what do you think about the uh, Western shootout today? Do you think it's a good or bad influence on, on the younger generation? I think it's going to be great the way we do it. It'll be good. Bad guy always loses. Ringo Kid played by Jerry Seals. He's participated in gunfights and he's a professional actor and stuntman. Uh, it's good to see you at the Milo show, Jerry. Uh, what do you think about uh, some of the uh, complaints we're getting about the gunfights being a bad influence on the younger generation? I'd like to hear from you. Well, Charles Starr was my role model. And you can tell by my outfit, you know, that. I do Charles Starrett, which is the Durango Kid. Uh, yes. And along with Jock Mahoney, you know, his double, his double. And uh, I, Charles Starrett's my role model, so I didn't turn out so bad. I, went, yeah, I used to go see him when I was a kid, you know. Okay, Mr. Cross, what have you got to say today? Well, I'd like to say, I'd like to add what Jerry said a while ago about these things, these Western movies, and the guy that we portray this day and time set an example for us to be good, because we portray the the good guys like they did back in the early days and they set an example for us because that uh we want to be the good guys but we know it takes the bad guys to make the good guys but we had a good pattern to go by that's why we try to live the life we do today at this day and time we try to set an example for the kids to go straight this is a professional actor and stunt man he's out to participate in our western show today and what have you got to say sammy well, I'm just happy everybody's here. It's good seeing you, Ron. You're at Milo Holt's Old Time Western Film Club in Silo City. It's always a thrill to see everybody and watch the old Western movies of yesterday. Best things even made in Hollywood. What is your name, sir? I'm Dean Baker from Dallas, North Carolina. And uh, this is the first time I've been here, but I remember the Saddle Pals. I, I'm one of them. Love, I love, know a lot of these guys here. And, uh, Really love the Cowboys. Well, it's really great for you to come out today, and uh, it's really been nice talking with you, and I hope we have a good show. At least I'm I know looking you forward to it. I thank you, yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Meet you. I see you came out for the Western show today. Right. I'm uh, Larry Edwards, and uh, my character is Bill Cody. Well, that's one of the American heroes. It's really nice to meet you, Larry, and it seemed like you got a partner with you. I sure have. My name is Tizzy, and I'm, my character is Jane Whip. And the character, what is your character today? The Black Whip. The Black Whip. Well, I think you and Durango Kid is going to make a good team. <laughs> yeah, it's really been good uh, talking with you. You too. And I'm really looking forward to a great show. Uh, I'm Ron Koontz, and uh, it's Ron. Ken Eckhart's my name. It's nice to meet you, sir, and I'm really looking forward to this Western show we're going to have, and uh, I guess you'll be participating. Yeah, um, I'll be changing into my outfit in a little while. I do the Long Ranger. The, well, the Long Ranger is uh, one of the American heroes, along with John Wayne, and I think that's going to be a real good influence on the young people here. It's well, gonna we hope it is. Give them a real good role model to look up to. We hope it is. We hope it works out good for them. We've had a lot of positive response from the children that we meet doing this. It's been great talking with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Your name, sir? T. Shore from Greensboro, North Carolina. 
Well, it's really been great talking with you, and it's good to see I you. I come down here every time they have one of these questions. I enjoy them very much. I appreciate all you people. Yeah, it's good to meet new faces, new people all the time. Good, good friendship, good fellowship. Well, really, that's what makes is people like you. I mean, uh, they're just as part of the team as the people on stage. There you go. Thank you, gentlemen, very much for your support and your views, and I think what you've got to say is going to be a, a real good influence, and I think you're setting a role model for the younger people, the people that's going to form a country in years to come, and I thank you very much. Well, we don't. you come down here shooting this for us. So you got anything you want to say today? Uh, I just think it was a good show. It worked out real great. Well, you've been, you've been a professional and working in the movies all your life. How long have you been now? 30 years or more? About 35. 35 years. And uh, well, I'm glad it worked out. I know you're a hard man to, well, to uh, please. I believe it was all coordinated good and worked out real great. Well, that's great. And I appreciate you coming out, Jerry. And I appreciate you doing the camera work for us. Get everybody, get everybody close enough. Get closer. 